Hi guys, how are you? Today I am going to show you how I made this. Um, I can't figure out the name, maybe tray? <laughs> this plate I bought at Christmas tree shop and I was trying to do the bottom exactly the same as the top but I'm not an expert in painting so I decided just to paint it white as you saw. And so I use a combination of A6000 and I also use some hot glue so that I could attach the bottom piece in the bottom. I mean, yeah, you know what I mean. And that I bought at um, Target because I've been crazy looking for those things at Dollar Tree and I haven't been able to find them. But I did find them at Target uh, a long time ago, not, not recently. And I knew I wanted to, to make sort of a tray with them, but then I bought this like plate tray and I loved it and I thought it would look even better if I rise it up. And here is the end result. I love it. I like it. My daughter likes it a lot. And my famous pumpkin again. <laughs> And now I'm gonna show you how I made this little welcome friends little sign. I bought that at the Dollar Tree and I had an idea for it and I turn out it turned out nice, I like it. So I used that Elmer's glue. I think it's Elmer's glue. I didn't like it to be honest with you. I didn't think it did a good job. I rather use Elmer's white glue on liquid put a little thin la layer on it and it works perfectly but not that stick glue I didn't like it it didn't stick on the very ends and it stayed purple at the edges so I did not like it at all anyways I attached it and I press it down I cut the ends with scissors and then I I used the sander to finish the edges and then I use that painting from Dollar Tree which is really good to make like a stain color for wood it's not really strong or thick but I really like the way it turned out like the way it painted that little wood piece that goes attached to the sign then I use the Dollar Tree sign that says welcome and I just took the welcome away because that's the thing I was going to use and then I place it where I wanted it and then I also bought those that I was really dying to buy I didn't really want to do much with it because I have a horrible handwriting and that already have friends and the other one has welcome so I just put them together and I did a little welcome friends So all of this is easy DIYs, my favorite kind. And now I'm gonna show you how I made this leaf using Dollar Tree things except for the paper, the top paper that's from Hobby Lobby. I paid 25 cents for it. And my husband is whistling to our bird right now. <laughs> so I used the stick again. And uh, I placed the paper. Same thing. It didn't. It didn't stick at the end, so I don't suggest using that. Other creators use that stick glue, and it works. But not, it didn't work for me. Because you just have to try and see. So I cut the ends, and then 
I I use my sander for it too to finish the ends. But let me tell you, that sander was either too strong or something, but it broke. It broke the, like the wood a little bit. Anyways, I didn't find the footage about me painting those little letters that I, wooden letters from the Dollar Tree, but I actually I use this um, Harvest Orange. That it's the color that I like the most. I don't like a bright, bright orange, but I like like a soft kind of burnt orange and that's the darkest one that I found actually and then I did the fall and there now I'm I thought it was too bare just the fall on the door so I thought maybe if I make a little how do you call this thing goodness I'm out of words right now but um, wreath Maybe if I make a little wreath, uh, I'm not going to put a lot of stuff. All of that is from the Dollar Tree. The wreath itself is from Dollar Tree. And of course, the stems that I use are from the Dollar Tree from last year. So I put, try to put a little bit of um, stems all around it. I bought those um, fall of last year. I don't know, they probably have them this year too. But I didn't want to cover the whole um, wreath color because if I put too much I don't think the sign is going to show show too much but like that I, I liked it I like how it, it turned out it turned out good there you go and that's the end result my leaf and the wreath and now we're going to do this little sign that I purchase a Hobby Lobby I even put it on my haul if you check my other channel I mean my other videos <laughs> anyways I was trying to cover up the little hole and with the leaf with a little tiny leaf I, I cover the whole of the pumpkin then the little words were from Target I bought a little bag of words for a dollar like fall quotes from Target and so I use the one that says hello fall and I attached it I left it the color that it came with because I thought it matched the little beads right there I like how it came out I love it it's tiny but it's cute now I'm gonna show you how I made this pumpkin which I thought it was really um, interesting to put like leaves around a pumpkin I did purchase this, I don't, the purchase is from Dollar Tree, but I don't exactly remember where I bought the, like that little towel. I think I bought it at Dollar Tree, or maybe Dollar General, one of those two. But, I didn't like it for this year to put it on my kitchen, but I thought, what can I do with it? And so I thought I could put it inside that pumpkin. And make its own little leaf pumpkin and it worked out then I'm going to get those little wood pieces that I purchased at Dollar Tree and make the stem for the pumpkin and then I'm going to get a little, I think it's raffia the name of it, yeah, raffia. And tie a little bow at the top part to make it look nicer. And there it is. Pretty easy.
Now I'm going to show you how I make just like thanks and giving sign. Little, yeah, little sign. Using this $2 dollar, dollar general owl, I guess. And then the round thing, I don't know the name actually, but I bought it a long, long time ago. I think I bought it at Michael's. And I always wanted to do something with it. Never use it for anything until today. And I'm thinking... I'm going to be able to use that for a lot of projects like not only this one because I can always take away that little fabric or towel and change it up through the seasons you know so I was pretty happy that I thought about doing this actually and I have all the extra fabric at the edges so I was thinking what can I do don't want to cut it off because I really like that little towel thingy and so I thought about just taping it taping it with that um, painters tape I think it is anyways the soft tape that won't actually ruin the fabric and that's what I did I just had to pull it at the edges to make it straight to make it like not wrinkly and that's exactly what I'm doing right here. So, I would love for you to tell me what are your dreams, where do you want to live, if you want to move somewhere, or where would you like to travel. Now that we really can't go out much, but it's nice to dream and have hopes that one day things will get back to normal and we will be able to do all the things we used to before. Without wearing those horrible masks, because I am really tired of wearing those masks. But I know it's for our own protection, and so we have to keep using them. And now I am trying to do the little, like, I, I, I lost track of what I was doing because I was talking about something else. <laughs> But anyways, embellishing the little sign with that greenery with two pigs, two little pigs from Eucalyptus and uh, Lamb's Ear together with a little bit of raffia, a, la a little raffia bow. So then I was figuring out how could I attach this without using glue because I still want to use that for other projects. So I don't want to put a lot of glue or any kind of glue if that makes sense. So I just tie the raffia in the little hole. I think it's a little bit crooked but hey it's my first time doing it <laughs> and so I made I, I tie it out in the back and then I made another I tied it once again to leave leave a little bit of extra so that I can hang it from the raffia to the wall and I like it this is the final product. I really hope you enjoyed and got some inspiration. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time we post. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!